My name's Jesse Fishman. I'm number 62 on the Kitchener Rangers. And here I got my buddy with me. Matthew Sop, 91 on the, on the Kitchener Rangers. Uh, we're here to just talk to you guys today, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, we're here to just <laughs> freestyle combo. <laughs> What's new, Fish? Oh, I got a couple stories. <laughs> so we're here to just yeah. freestyle. Okay. Uh, you, want, you want, you have anything? You want to start it off? No, no, you start, you start, you start. All right. Yeah. Like I know most of you might know I was in Finland. I was playing uh junior in Finland uh, as the OHL wasn't starting. And I have a couple of cool stories like from there, like, um, obviously like, place. yeah, yeah, it was, it was crazy. Like, yeah, I know like my flight there, like with connecting, like my flight there was like 20 hours. And then on the way back, it was like, 26 like i had to fly because it was northern finland it was olu yeah so i had to fly from olu to helsinki which is like an hour and a bit flight but then i had like a six hour connection in helsinki and then from helsinki i went to frankfurt and yeah. there i had another like six hour connection and then from frankfurt yeah. i came to toronto which is a nine hour flight it was nuts like i can't do planes yeah, was, like, I, I, I'm fine with the flight, but like it's just so stressful because now you have to, um, with all the COVID protocols, like you have to show yeah. all like your negative sheets yeah. and you have to show your contract because why you're traveling. And it was just like, just a pretty crazy, yeah. pretty crazy experience. Like I've never like flown by myself before that and then going right into like a 25 oh, hour. You were by day. yourself? Yeah, I was by myself. <laughs> I was by myself doing yeah. it all. It was pretty crazy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like. The flight was pretty crazy. When I got down there, like, obviously there was a language barrier. So, yeah. like, like, when I was even in the dressing room, like, the coach is just talking, like, speaking. Yeah, so, I know was- actually one game, one game we were down to Z. Yeah. And we're in the dressing room. It's the first intermission. And obviously, like, we're in the intermission just chilling in the dressing room. And they're just talking, like, finish. And I'm just sitting there kind of just, like, not understanding a word they're saying. And I, to, I tap on one of my, yeah. And I tap on one of my buddies. I'm like, what just happened? Like, what did they say? The coach didn't look too happy. He's like, we just changed our systems. And before I knew <laughs> it, I went on the ice for the second intermission and it's just different systems. Like I literally didn't even know what was going on. And like the assistant coach like translated to me. He was pretty good. Oh, okay. Like, he spoke English. Then that's, yeah, yeah. He's, he spoke English, but like we were just playing totally different. Like we played like a man on man defensive system. And then we were like, it was just crazy. Like we could totally yeah. change the system in the middle of the game and I had zero clue. So it was pretty, it was pretty funny. Is the game a lot different there? Like, how uh, they- yeah, like it's like for like, we were playing man. Most teams play man on man defense instead of like trap or zone or anything like that. Yeah. So that was a little different. Like it was, it's more chippy. Like I know yeah. we played this team IPK twice and they were just like, just throwing open hits. Like left right right right. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. like, other than that, like the ice is bigger. It's pretty tough. Like it was, it was crazy to get used to because I haven't played a game in a year. And then I just step on this like Olympic sized ice. Yeah. And I'm coming back down, like on one side of the rink. I'm just like bagged. I'm like, what's <laughs> going on? This isn't a normal ice surface. Yeah. It was pretty nuts. But it was a good experience. Like, no, that's sick. What I mean, you back here? Yeah. No, back here, I was kind of just, just training like on ice every day. I, I wasn't connected with the team or anything. So I was just, I don't know, kind of just putting in work with uh, training with, with uh, one of my trainers on ice and off ice, and then nothing, nothing special though. But you know, just just putting the work in. So yeah, feeling, feeling good. Yeah. Are you training with anyone in the L, like on our team or anything? Yeah, well, well, uh, I was with like when we were with Ertl, because that's who I do it with. Like on our team, I like Serpo would come out too, and yeah. I th- uh, Teaser and Vlad were out there, uh, I think, like, tw- twice or once. And I know Langdon was out there once before, too, so. Well, yeah, you played with Ertl, right? My- yeah, yeah, I played with Ertz back in. He's back a good guy. He's a funny guy. I roomed with him in Team yeah. Ontario, like, a long time ago, like, U12 or U13. We played yeah. Team Ontario together. Oh, was that was that for that, like, WCSI tournament? Yeah, WSI. That guy's Dude, like. we played clown. you guys. In the like first round, I remember I was on some USA team and you guys pumped us like 12 to 2. <laughs> what I team were you on? Game. I what swear team? to you, I remember it. Was it in um in Italy, right? You were there? Yeah, yeah, it was in Italy. Dude, the food there is actually insane. Dude, the pizza? <laughs> it's nuts. We had one right beside our hotel. I was there every day. Yeah, like we had like 
I know when we went to the rink, like we had like ready meals for us sometimes, like we ate pasta there and it was just like whatever pasta, like no one was like saying it's like, oh, a good restaurant pasta. And it's just like, yeah, they so good. It's just yeah, everything so much better. Dude, the pasta there, the first time I had it, I had an allergic reaction and I was like, dying. What? Yeah, I swear. Because I'm allergic, allergic to it. And they, they put like walnuts on like the pasta. The first thing I do, like this is like first day. And I start like, it just puking. blows up. Yeah. Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah. That was a pretty crazy trip. Like we were in Balzano. So I like went to the mountains and stuff. It was pretty sick. Actually. We went on like these ski things, like through the, like, Oh, the like mountain. the things that bring you up the mountain. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah, was sick. Yeah. yeah. I know. Yeah. I know. Like, um, I was with our curry there most of the time. Like our dads are good friends. Yeah. So, and we were on the same team. So like, we went on the mountains. We did that whole thing together. It was pretty sick, actually. Yeah, it is sick. Yeah, but that's what I remember from your team, Ontario. Yeah, like, back to, like, Ertzi, so funny, man. Oh, my Dude, God. Dude, funniest guy I know. I was training with – that's what he, I would train with, too. And he's Where just, is he playing? He's playing – he went up to Summerside. I think it's the BC. Uh, oh, BC. I think. He's committed think. to Cornell, too, no? Yeah, yeah. That's sick. Yeah. He's good. Yeah, he would yeah. score some big goals against us when I was on the Rebels, like in uh, Minor Midget. Back in, yeah, yeah. I remember in uh, – did we ever play – oh, yeah. We played you guys in, I know. in uh, round robin. I know. We you won once in us. Boston. Yeah, you beat us in London 2-1, I remember. I know. And then we played you in OHL Cup, and we, we were just hot. We Dude, were it was hot. like – yeah, it was like 8-1. Yeah, we were, on, we were on a hot streak. You guys that. were nice. Yeah, we played well. Too bad we just got kicked out by Penale, but other than that, we we're on a hot streak. <laughs> we had a chance in the last game to to take the Red Wings out. We took. I remember that. Out. I remember watching it. Was it on rink like two? <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 That one on the right. Yeah. What was the score? It was like four. It was it was like five five, and we're going into overtime. And then Penale scored in overtime to get them to the. Oh my God. Yeah, it was a sick. It was it was sick. Yeah, like we we lost. I think it was actually like our second game in the same day. Like when we played the semis against the um, Canales team, don't want to say that's the reason we got knocked out, but <laughs> we like, we were just bagged. Like we got the, like the most like absurd schedule ever in the NHL Cup. It was pretty crazy. Like we had a tough division. Yeah. And we had like, we had a bunch of wild cards, but it was like us, Red Wings, you guys, Whippy. Like, yeah. I don't know if Marley's were in our division, but we played the Marley's in the quarters. No, I know they were good. I think oh who else was do we have a US team? We might have. I don't I don't even remember. I know we I mean, had we had um Sudbury. Oh okay, yeah. We had oh, yeah. it was like yeah. the team that they brought like all the grossest guys into. Yeah, yeah. And they had like Dudro and Nett. Like we beat them one nothing, I think, when we played them. Yeah. We, we we oh we lost. I think we went 0-4. In, in the, the tournament? Team. Yeah. Really? You guys were, you were good too. I don't know. Yeah, you were good. You were like you. Uh, it was what's like Snickick. Uh, um, yeah, Snickick. The guy yeah. eighty eight. What's I forget what that guy's name. Yeah. yeah, he's pretty good too. Like yeah, you guys were pretty solid. I know. I know. That, that was, was awesome. Nice. Man. The OHL Cup like is the sickest tournament ever. And like, oh, I know. I know. Too bad. Like the O fours and O fives missed it. That sucks. Oh, dude. That's brutal. Yeah. So bad. What else? Are you taking courses? Yeah, I am. I take in, I have to do computer or no, no, no. Space science and data management online right now. It's like, it's so space hard. science. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what are it's you like, learning from that? Dude, it's earth and space science. I don't know. <laughs> we I'm haven't even had a class yet. I'm more into like body anatomy sciences. Like Did you biology. take him? Yeah, I took Ken. I actually took Ken like my first course in um, at Loria, and I did well there. Oh, you you took a uni course? Yeah, I've taken two. Oh, that's in sociology, but I took Ken like at the start like of the semester, and then I took sociology now. Damn, nice. I just finished. I didn't even though. know. Did you finish school? Like, I finished like, like I finished at the end of I think it was like April. So when when we got like when they sent us home from the uh, COVID lockdown, yeah which was March. I finished in April. I did like two weeks of online to finish it off. And then I finished in April and then I was done. I graduated. You graduated. Yeah. I skipped a grade though. I skipped a grade. I skipped grade eight. Oh, so you're, 
You script grade grade eight? Yeah, yeah. Dude, you're smart. You no, are smart. No. Not even like it was just like I had to take this like some next like oh I like OS I forget what it's actually called but it's like an Ontario um Ontario OS like standard. Yeah, no, no, no. It's not even that. It's like called different. It's just a standardized test. Oh, okay. so I was I graduated grade seven and then I had to take a test to script grade eight. I took like a two week of like tutoring or three weeks of tutoring of grade eight courses. It just like packed it. Yeah. And then I had to take a test on like all grade eight, um, all grade eight curriculum in like a span of two weeks. You have to get like over a 75 or something. And then you can go to grade nine. Yeah. I don't even know how I got, I don't think that's even a thing right now. <laughs> I, don't even, I don't even know, but like I went right to, to like the old peak, like Blythe, you know, where peak used to be. Yeah. 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 Um, I went there. I was with a couple of hockey guys too. Like, um, Stephen Halliday. Was it, uh, yeah. And then wasn't cook there in your last year. I know. Cause he went to, he yeah, was, he, but like he was there when I was at, uh, Blythe and kit in Kitchener when we were playing. Oh, okay. He was there with him. He's a good guy too. I like him. Yeah. 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 Where's he playing? He got drafted to Barry. No. Yeah. Yeah. He's playing in Collingwood in the OJ. Oh yeah. 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 But yeah. What else is now? Dude, nothing. How, how many, you're just taking two courses right now? Yeah, two courses because we have like the quad master set up. So I do two courses in like the span of like two, like a month and a half. Oh, and yeah. Then, I like that. I like that. Yeah, I took yeah. it's nice, but in math, it's like I've so learned like much. Four different units in the past two weeks. Yeah, literally. Yeah. It's so, so much. You have a test every week, like a unit yeah. test every week. That's what I had. It is. It's That's so what good. I did all through high school. Oh, you were doing quad masters like that? All throughout time. high school, I did it. That's smart, man. That's yeah, I, I kind of liked it. Like, I got used to it, though. Like, in, like, easier courses, like, um, I don't know, what's, what's an easier course? Like, for me, it was, like, bio and stuff. Like, that just went by so quick in, like, grade 10 and 9. Yeah. Like, and then you're just done with it. And even, like, the courses you don't, like, love, like, it's called, like, English. That's, like, bio for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, like, <laughs> Sciences. I hated writing essays. Like, actually, I didn't hate it, but, like. Dude, it's just, like. It's just so long. Yeah, <laughs> But like when you only had to write like a certain amount of essays in a certain amount of time, you just get it done. You don't have to write essays for half the year. Yeah, then it's then it's that's nice. why I like like doing English in that, oh. in that kind of way. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was kind of easier. That's Are you the, done your courses now? Yeah, I finished it. I had a sociology exam like last week. But oh, that, like it was pretty easy. Like yeah. it's not that hard. Sociology. Is that like study of like I don't know what is it's that? It's like I took a sociology class my first time, I think. It's a lot of, like, um, like theories and stuff. Oh, okay, yeah. There's a lot of theories. Where, like, Going like, into the mind of people and stuff like that. That's, that's what I remember. From yeah, me. kind of, like, since, kind of like that, but, like, it's more, like, I don't know. I'm not, like. Yeah, a, I won't even make you explain it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not. I, it's hard to explain, but I'm not, like, a, I like my, like, science is more, like, in bio. Yeah, yeah. I just can't do, I can't do uh, physics. Physics? I can't do physics. There's just something about it. Yeah. <laughs> what are you gonna take next year? Are you gonna uh, take I, I applied for I applied for communications and like I got into my schools. I just need to know. I need to decide if I'm gonna go communications or if I'm gonna go just sports management. What's like what school? Like, Laurier. Yeah, Laurier, uh, Waterloo, or Brock, or Guelph, but I don't know. Yeah, but you're doing online anyways because you're playing. Yeah, I know, so it doesn't really yeah. matter. If I'm you're also, like, probably going to take a couple courses at a time. Yeah, like, I'll probably just take one or two courses at first online. And actually, it depends. It depends on what happens, but... Yeah. I mean... Yeah. But also, have you, have you been, uh, like, been able to train and stuff lately? Yeah, I mean, I got like a personal trainer guy for like the lock, like during the lock with all the, I mean, COVID safe, of course, but yeah, like, yeah, I, yeah. I, it's kind of just like a one on one thing. And that's what I was doing at, like during the lockdown. And then yeah. when I'm not, I'm just like, I'm with death. I don't yeah. know if you know them in Waterloo. Yeah. yeah. But yeah luckily i have been able to i have been able to weight train and then hockey i'm kind of just playing with the rollers on the yeah roll. i've been playing rolls a bunch too yeah it's sick we get some get some games going and stuff yeah so. like i i've been playing with like a couple of my buddies from like um like here in toronto yeah 
and like there's just like crazy wipeouts because like i know i don't know how to like three or four weeks ago before the lockdown like when we when i would be on the ice and then i'd play roles after like i would go outside and i wouldn't even remember that i'm on rollerblades i would just wipe out totally like my elbow is still scarred i can give you a little look from the roller oh my god (laughs) I would just wipe out, man. I don't even remember. Like, I feel like I'm on a blade because you're just doing it. Then you have to like. Then when you're turning and you just go down. Yeah, like a guy gets by you and you're just like used to being on the ice and you just want to like quick stop. And you just just, can't. No, like zero. Like you have to like go for the biggest, widest turn ever. It's fun though. I was playing with two wheels for the longest time. And it's hard to turn with it. Like I'm playing one. One wheel at the front, one wheel at the back of the rollerblade for, for my wheel. For both my <laughs> nothing wheel. in the middle, eh? Yo, nothing. And that's hilarious. I know. I've been um, I, I'm using my brother's old wheels. Like they're pretty old. They're like missions. It's pretty sick though. They're like all whites. <laughs> it's hilarious. Yeah, I think I'm using like a Nike pair from like the Nike. 90s. I don't even know. Yeah, it's so weird. Yeah, and it's like it's also hard to find. Like I know a couple of my friends, like um, their wheels also broke off. Like. It's yeah. hard to find. It's hard to find wheels now because that's what everyone wants to do. I know. Like when there was like when there was first like the lock, I was trying to look for Mars blades, and there yeah. was like their shipping was like it'll come up to you in like six months. It was, yeah, like, yeah. You think. Fish, start us off. First goal. Yeah, first goal. Um, we were in. We were playing at the odd against Windsor back when the odd. I think it was Friday. I think it was a Friday night. It was sold yeah. out, and. I know I was on with Roops and Serps <laughs> and Serp, uh, I forgot what happened. It was like a good four check by Serps and Roops. And like, I'm just like falling in kind of like at the high, like a uh, circle. Yeah. And when, by the time, like, I think it was Serps who passed to me by the time, like he gets me the puck, like I'm like, my momentum's going backwards and I just like float one on net. And there's like a huge screen, like Roops, like a big body. He's just like a huge screen in front of the net. He's in front. And it just like, saucers just flies in like in the in, i think it was like top right or something yeah and the crowd just goes nuts and i didn't know what to expect i'm like i'm like i don't know it's like i'm not because i didn't score i think it was like my seventh or eighth game yeah and i didn't know what to expect but man like the adrenaline you get when it when, when you, you score yeah. and the odd goes nuts it's actually crazy oh, and like before that i'm playing in front of like 100 people at like in minor midget right yeah, like, like the most people, people cup. Yeah, and like people will clap like, and stuff, but like yeah. here there's just like the the theme song and like everyone goes nuts. And I was just getting absolutely like in the room after the game, like I was just getting rinsed about the cell. <laughs> like just <laughs> like I was just getting chirped. Dude, like, I, was, I know I know in my I know after the game, like I had an interview with um like the Rogers interview. They yeah. were asked they're they um I think it was Sean, he was talking about like uh uh, the guys were talking about fines or like not even fines, like like you just ripping you in the room. And I'm like, yeah, but I'll take it. Like it's worth the feeling. It's worth the yeah, feeling. Goals the first goal. Goal. Yeah. 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 So that's so sick. That was a pretty sick experience. Dude, yeah. I remember watching it on my TV and I was just like, it's just that most hype thing, all the fans and stuff, bro. Dude, yeah. Like I don't even like when I scored and I sell it, I'm like, ah, oh, like I don't even know how big of a selling it was. And then when I watch it after, I'm just like, <laughs> what do I just do, man. <laughs> I'm just like, what just happened? Yeah, you just do it. You don't even know. <laughs> don't even remember, it's actually the craziest feeling. Like you, it just happens. And then after you look at it, you're like, oh, oh yeah, like, that's just like no, that's just not yeah. it, dude. But scoring is scoring, so let's still. Yeah, talk about your your apple and well. <laughs> it was in. I was down in Owen Sound, so we got the drive down. Oh, it was um, Owen Sound. Yeah, it was in Owen Sound. Oh, I thought it was Guelph. Why did I think it was Guelph? No, it was in Owen Sound. Okay, okay, Owen Sound. Yeah. It's like, so, I don't even know. I'm playing, like, a, a like a couple shifts, and, like, I don't know. It's doing not bad. Like, I'm still nervous for my first yeah. game. I'm shaking. I got the butterflies. But, I mean, I'm feeling, feeling pretty good. And then get the pass from, I think it was, uh, I think it was Motu out of the corner to me or something like that. Classic Mots, eh? Yeah, like, nice the shady apple. <laughs> on my tape and I go probably the easiest pass I've ever had to make in my life. Just a textbook. Just I don't even know pass. on in the Howie stick. And he did the rest from there. I think he 
put the guy's jock strap in like the ceiling and then oh, he went in and yeah. I remember me and you both crashed the net. Yeah. We thought the puck was still there. And yeah. like and I was the in the corner and just waiting for the boys like celebrating. That. And I'm like, oh, yeah. Cool. Like, I just didn't know. It was a crazy goal. That was actually nuts. I know. And then yeah, I don't you don't even know. Like, like just like you said, like I can't even remember the play. Like yeah. I just I just know it because I just like it was probably like the most, the easiest apple I've got in my life, but yeah, and, and then you're sitting on the bench and you hear your name called out. Yeah, for the assist, so, and you're just like, you're just like, that's that's gotta be good. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. So that's pretty much that's pretty much the story. I mean, there's nothing, not much. Is else. that your was that your first game or second game? First game. My second game was in. Uh, it was at the odd one against London. Which did we win? When, when we we lost to them, I think it was. Uh, I had a chance to score in that game too. Dickie set me up and yeah? uh, for a tap in, and I oh, that's <laughs> right over my stick. Did you come? Like, did you join our? Like, did you play your first game when your season was over? Yeah, like so. Our, we got eliminated like early because like we didn't we didn't make the playoffs. I mean, we were a good team, but I mean, we had a good division stuff like that, and yeah, we didn't make it. Then. Um, and then I just started practicing with you guys and I think there was like an, an injury or something. And this was like my first week there. Yeah. And I'm like still, I'm just like nervous. Like I'm obviously, cause I'm one weekend, I'm not really talking or anything, but yeah. And then um, I think there was an injury and I was watching it. And then uh, like, I remember I was watching the stands and then uh, like we were going to go to Owen Sound the next day. And then I got the text that, bring your equipment because you might play it was like a game time decision so i'm just like on the bus and i'm like oh, am i playing like you didn't even know like no I, I knew like i think i knew when i got there that i was playing for sure that's sick because like they didn't know if the other person could play because injury and then yeah yeah that's unreal you had to wear the cage last year right <laughs> yeah. you got the bubble you had the, the <laughs> that world juniors cage yeah it was such a bad cage. The McDavid underage cage. <laughs> yeah. Dude, it was such a bad cage. I remember I would hear it from the other team, like, so heavy. Oh, yeah. Like, you oh, yeah. don't belong here. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, yeah. Dude, cool. yeah. The cage did not help. But... Yeah, but still, who cares? Well, an apple's an apple in your first <laughs> yeah. Well, half a point per game in the O is not bad. <laughs> I'll take it for two games. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you got any more stories from Finland fish? Um, I had a roommate in Finland. His name was Ollie. Like, just did he speak guy. English? Yeah, like broken English, but like he was honestly like pretty good compared to other guys on the team. But he yeah. was a great guy. Like, like awesome. had like a Canadian kind of style of like talking. Like, like talk just, to him. Yeah, yeah. He was just like a beauty. Like a great guy. I lived with him. We went golfing a bunch, like indoor golfing, because it was like frozen like yeah i was saying as i was saying before like dude like minus 30 like can't even see outside like you like all the all the tires yeah like on cars have like pins and needles in them to like create friction with the ice because you can't drive otherwise because you can't <laughs> dude, if, if i made a right turn with my like with like the best snow tires out there without these like um screws in the tires yeah. you're you're flying like you it's like it's like being on ice were you driving there no, I wasn't driving. He was driving, but like, I don't think even at one point in Finland did I see like just cement on the ground. It's just always frozen ice. I swear, like I never yeah. saw cement, nothing on the ground. Like, and you'd wake up and it's just freezing cold. Like, oh, and like I also like during the day, like the um, the daylight hours. I think it's like yeah. nine a.m. to like two or three p.m. And that's it. Not even 3 p.m. Did you have jet lag when you first got there? Or oh, is yeah. That th terrible. Yeah. Like, just That's the worst. Terrible. Like, you can't, like, for, like, a week or two weeks, like, you think you're, like, not jet lagged, but then, like, you just get so tired so easily. Like, you're just, like, you think you're, like, fine, and it's just, like. Then it just hits you. Yeah, yeah. because because it's seven hours forward there. So, What's seven hours forward. Yeah, you're trying to, like. You're trying to like go to bed early, but you're not tired because it's seven hours forward. Yeah. Right. And you're tired in like the middle of the night, but not at like 10 or 11 or 12 PM or yeah. 111 PM, 12 AM. But you're tired. Yeah. But like, 
it was a pretty cool experience. Like I really like the country. The people are super nice. They're like, everyone's approachable. Like, yeah, nothing. Well, I only went there once and that was for another one of those like world thing tournaments. Were you in Helsinki? Yeah. Yeah. That's the one where it was like Helsinki to Sweden or something yeah, like that. I didn't go to that one. I went to two. Okay. Yeah. But that one, I don't know. The I just remember Finland was really cool. So yeah. That's it. I like Finland a lot. Like the, um, I picked up a little bit of language, like not actually like a little you bit of like words. I don't know about a sentence. Like I know thank you is Kitos. Um, I know your welcome is like Ole Uva. That's your welcome? Yeah. Ole Uva? Ole Uva. Ugh. So like a little bit, like I learned a little bit, but nothing like. I, it was actually like pretty weird that like at the end of the trip, like when people were talking in the room, I would pick up like small things here and there. But, like I pick up languages easily. Yeah. So, like I would, I would understand like what's going on kind of like in like broken down sentences, but like, not, you can, you can understand it, but you can't really speak it. Yeah. Yeah. Like I could yeah. understand a bit of like what people are saying, like in like the general basis of what a conversation is going on with, but like, I wouldn't be able to like can't hold the conversation. Yeah. No, no, no. Give details. Yeah. But yeah, it was like a sick time, like sick country. I liked it. Oh yeah, and that's a good league and everything too. So that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, like it was. It was pretty good hockey. Like yeah. did decently well there. So did pretty well. So it was good. That's awesome. Um, hey, talk about COVID now. Yeah. What was your take? What was your take on that? Because you were like, also, it was still new to you. Dude, yeah, right? I was like, I think I was, I was two weeks in, and then it to COVID happened, and like we were like like a couple of weeks out of playoffs too. And I was like, so excited just to be a part of it. Yeah. And I was like, Oh, it's going to be so sick. Like first. No, it's going to be buzzing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, and then oh, what happened? I, I remember someone was saying like someone was sick or something like that on the team. Yeah, I, I think it was, I think so. Yeah. I think someone was sick and then someone we had a day off. Yeah. yeah. And then everyone was like, I was not thinking, I wasn't thinking much of it. I was just like, no. okay. Yeah. And then I'm hearing about this thing like COVID. And I'm like, okay, well, it's nothing serious. Like it's not here. And yeah. I don't even know. It's like it happened in like a second. He came in and like, we were about to go out for practice. I think. Yeah. Like, and uh, he came in, I think it was uh, Macker came in and was like, what was he saying? I think it he was. Said, yeah. He just goes and he's like, boys, like, the league's told us that like we're having a two week break yeah. just, like pretend like it's your another christmas break we're gonna be back here and we're gonna get yeah. going but at the same time like he didn't know and no one else knew how big this thing was like we would hear it you know, two as, weeks would be a year now more like a year and a half yeah, like like we we literally like he came in the room and he's like two weeks and like i didn't even know like a lot about covid but like when that happened i was just like oh it's not here like i thought it was just like I've heard about it and I've seen the news, but like yeah. I never thought anything like that. And then like two weeks hit and by like March 16, 17, 18, like of uh, 2020, it was just like, it was bad. Ontario yeah. wide lockdown, like all this stuff. And like, I know I was even scared to like go to a grocery store and like touch everything. Like I just had a hand sand. Like I'm still obviously like use everything. Precautions use all that. But like at first I was like hand yeah. sanitizer every 10 minutes. Yeah, at first you just think it's everywhere. Like it was yeah. just, even though it is like obviously like spreading like crazy and it is everywhere. Yeah. But like at first you're just like super scared. Like you don't know what because also like researchers and no one knew what like COVID was. They were still it like, was happening. It's yeah. as new to them as it was to us. Like we were, it was just like happened so quick too. And I was like, I remember Macker even saying like, um, "Who can find ice? Like just go home, get like get on the ice or whatever," and then we'll be back in two weeks, like play it. We'll have a playoff push. And we made a bunch of trades. And, like we were a solid team and then yeah. it's super unfortunate that that happened, but it was a sick team. Yeah. It really. just, it just surprised me like crazy. Like I was just like, I had no idea. Cause like one second, like I swear the day before we were practicing normal, didn't yeah. even hear about this thing. Like, and then, and then everyone's on their phones and it's just like sports net OHL suspended two weeks, yeah. NHL suspended. It was like happened all in the duration of like an hour in the room. I remember everyone was just like, what's going on? Yeah. And then, and then I remember like, we all just had to pack up 
all your stuff and you just you left for two weeks and then after two weeks did he, they cancel it after two weeks or did yeah they- after two weeks i think it was after like a march something they like just called it a year like they canceled yeah. everything mem cop like everything i know just, it so it's tough. pretty yeah like it's tough and it's obviously but in the end of the day like i know like it's all about player safety right and that's what yeah yeah it's about. the same with like this year I yeah, get, I mean, I want us to. I want, like obviously, I wanted really badly to have a season, but like I get why. Yeah, it's just like you understand, but yeah, yeah, it's something that you can't really control, and it's just whatever. Like, there's nothing we can do about it. Like the whole world's going through the same thing, so like, we're the only ones kind of like in this worst position. Like, yeah, I know. Even though the other leagues got to run for a little, but I mean, yeah, which would be nice, but <laughs> it's all good. Yeah, exactly um this summer hopefully um everything starts getting a little more safe with covid and gyms open up and ice opens up more so i'm looking forward to just keep on training hard like i guess that's all we can really do right now and hope for another and hope for a season to happen in fall like i know if it's available to me like i'm going to be just working as hard as i can like on the ice going to be trying to get a lot of the vitamin d in me yeah. Uh, run some hills outside and stuff and just try to get as prepared as I can because I've been training for like the past year and I'm sure you have too like yeah at this point like we obviously want to play games but let's take advantage of it like I know I'm gonna take advantage of it and get as strong and quick as I can to try to um emulate that for next year like that's the only thing we can kind of really do right now yeah it's one of like the biggest years we have so yeah, same. I'm um, same goes. I mean, just control what I can control this summer. I mean, yeah. work my hardest in the gym, work my hardest on the ice. I mean, I know during this lock, I mean, it hasn't been the worst thing for me because, like, I kind of wanted to gain some muscle mass and like, oh, yeah. get that, uh, get like the the right body that like for me for my style. And uh, I mean, I just can just gonna continue to do that. I mean, um, pack on some pounds and uh, I mean, just keep the keep cardio up and make sure like, I mean, I can, I'm game ready, like any day of the week. Like that's kind of just like my goal. So yeah, yeah, that's pretty much, pretty much it. And yeah. yeah. We wanted to thank all the fans for listening to this, all the viewers. Um, we're super excited and hopeful to be playing in front of all you guys in the odd come fall time. And uh, yeah, it'll be great. And my Twitter handle is jfishman26. And my Instagram is jessefishman26. And yep. and uh, yeah, just thanks, guys. Thanks for thanks for the, the long wait. I mean, can't wait to see you guys next fall. And um, my Instagram, 91soppy, two Ps. And uh, the Twitter is mattsop1. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Awesome. Yeah, appreciate it, guys. Yeah.